Hello dear students, so this is fifth part of the topic percentage and this is the final video of this topic of our UPSC CSAT PYQ series and in this video we are going to discuss the questions which came in 2020 and 2021, right? I'll tell you how many questions are coming, uh, I mean came from this topic in which year. So in 2020 they have asked three questions, in 2021 they have asked four questions. So like the the top i mean the weightage of this topic is around 3 to 4 questions every year in 2019 they have asked six questions by the way so but you may expect around 2 3 2 3 or 4 questions every year from this topic so this topic is completely an important topic for the csat point of view right so you should prepare this topic well uh, for your csat preparation all right so now everyone let's start so first question a shop owner offers the following discount options on an article to a customer. Successive discount of 10%, 20% and then pay a service tax of 10%. Successive discount of 20%, 10% and then pay a service tax of 10%. Pay a service tax of 10% first, then successive discount of 20% and 10%. See everyone, here only order is getting changed, right, rest everything is same, fine. So for successive discount, let me tell you, order does not matter right everyone for successive discount or for successive increment the order does not matter so it means what all of them will be equally good for the customer right d option all the options are equally good for the customer it is the correct choice right because here order does not matter right everyone okay for successive discounts or successive in increment the order does not matter all right now let's move to the next question. Next question is, in an adult population of a city, 40% men and 30% women are married. What is the percentage of married adult population if no man marries more than one woman and no woman marries more than one man? Okay, see everyone. And there are no widows and widowers okay fine see everyone this is i mean these are men and these are women right they are saying one person is getting married only with one person and no widows and no widowers are there fine it means 40 percent of men is equal to 30 percent of women right so this will be in the reverse manner their population will be in the reverse manner so just assume that I mean, this is again based on the reverse ratio concept, right? So just assume that in the town, we have 30 male and 40 females, right? So in the town, we have 30 males and I mean 30 adult male and 40 adult female. So total we have 70 people, right? The total population of the town is 70. And 40% of this 30 is what? 12 and 30% of this 40 is what? 12. So total married population, married adult population is 24, right? They are asking, uh, they are asking what is the percentage of married adult population? So total, there are 70 people out of that 24 are married, right? So we need to find 24 is what percentage of 70? All right, everyone. So this is 240 by 7, right? So this is what 34, 2 by 7%. Right, everyone, this is 34, 2 by 7%. Fine. Okay. All right. So, now let's move to the other question. Next question is, as a result of 25% hike in the price of rice per kg. I repeat, as a result of 25% hike in the price of rice per kg. A person is able to purchase 6 kg less rice for Rs. 1200. What was the original price of the rice per kg? Alright, see everyone, it is 1200, right? So 25% hike, right? So 1200, 25% hike. So 25% of 1200 is what? Rupees 300. Why? Because 25% is actually one fourth, right? So one fourth of 1200 is what? 300, right? So today actually the price has been increased by 300 rupees with respect to 1200, fine. So it means what? It means 
the quantity that was available for 1200 rupees earlier is now available for rupees 1500 i re i repeat the quantity that was available for 1200 rupees earlier is now available for 300 rupees more it means 1200 plus 300 that is 1500 fine and so now today the quantity is available for rupees 1500 but if today also you are paying rupees 1200 it means you are paying 300 rupees less right and for that 300 rupees less you are getting 6 kg less right so it means increased price or you can say today's price today's price or you can say increased price so today's price today you are getting 6 kg for rupees 300 so 1 kg for rupees 50 right because 300 by 6 so 1 kg for rupees 50 fine so this is increased price this is actually increased price right this is not the original price what they are asking they are asking what was the original price of the rice per kg so everyone original price this is actually what this is actually 125 percent of the original price right because today's price is 25 percent more than the original price so 125 percent of the original price is 50 so 100 percent of the original price is what 100 percent of the original price is 50 divided by 125 into 100 right so this is 4 by 5 and this is 10 so this is 40 rupees right so original price of the rice is 40 rupees per kg right everyone so here b option is the correct choice correct okay this is actually a simple question you have to think logically to solve these type of questions all right everyone fine now let's move to the next question next question is from 2021 right next question says a student appeared in six papers the maximum marks are the same for each paper all right his marks in these papers are in the proportion 5 6 7 8 so just assume that 50 60 70 80 90 and 100 right i have assumed that his marks are 50 60 70 80 90 and 100 in these six papers right and overall he scored 60 percent fine so just add them so this is what 50 plus 100 is 150 60 plus 90 is also 150 70 plus 80 is also 150 150 150 150 three times so this is actually 450 right so he scored 450 marks right 450 is equal to what 60 percent question is saying 60 percent so 60 percent is equal to 450 all right so 100 percent is equal to 450 divided by 60 into 100 right so this is what this is a uh, this is 2 and this is 15 so this is 50 so this is 750 right so actually 100 percent marks are 750 all right okay so now maximum marks are 750 for the examination right and maximum marks per subject are the same right maximum marks for each paper are the same so there are six papers so 750 divided by six so this is 125 so maximum marks for each paper is 125 correct everyone after that question is saying in how many in how many number of papers did he score less than 60 percent of the maximum marks so maximum marks are 125 for each paper and 60 percent of the maximum marks is 75 right 60 percent of 125 is 75 so in how many papers he scored less than 75 marks this we need to find right so guys here in this paper he scored 80 in this paper he scored 70 here he scored 60 and here he scores 50 right so in these three papers he scored less than 75 marks in these three papers right so answer is three correct and in three papers he scored more than 75 right so in these three papers he scored less than 75 and in these three papers he scored more than 75 right so answer is three papers correct all right now next question 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज सिंग इन अ क्लास सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स आर फ्रॉम इंडिया ओके सो लेट से देर आर हंड्रेड परसेंट स्टूडेंट्स आउट ऑफ दैट सिक्सटी परसेंट आर फ्रॉम इंडिया एंड रेस्ट फोर्टी परसेंट आर फॉरनर्स राइट एंड फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स आर गर्ल्स ओके फाइन इफ थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ द इंडियन स्टूडेंट्स आर गर्ल्स थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ इंडियन थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ दिस थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ सिक्सटी इज वॉट एटीन so 30% indian are girl and rest foreigners are girls so 18 and 18 plus 32 right so 18 plus 32 so these are girls from india and these are girls from foreign so 8% are boys from foreign right so what is the question then what percentage of foreign students are boys see everyone from foreign we have 8% out of 40% so 8 is what percentage of 40 that we need to calculate right so 8 is actually 20% of 40 because 8 is 1/5 with respect to 40 so this is 20% right everyone so 20% are girls i sorry 20% are boys from foreign candidates all right the answer is 20% d option is the correct choice right now let's move to the other one all right Next question is saying if the price of an article is decreased by twenty percent, then the new price is increased by twenty five percent. Then what is the net change in the price? Okay, just assume the original price is hundred. Question is saying if the price of an article is decreased by twenty percent, so just decrease this price by twenty percent. Right. So hundred is decreased by twenty percent means twenty. So this becomes eighty. Right. After that, then the new price is increased by twenty five percent. So eighty is increased by twenty five percent, right? Twenty five percent means one fourth. So one fourth of eighty is what twenty, right? So eighty is increased by twenty. So it again becomes hundred, right? So it started with hundred and it became hundred finally, right? The initial price was hundred and the final price is also hundred, right? So question is then what is the net change in the price? So net change is zero percent, right? There is no change. right it started from 100 and it again became 100 right everyone so there is no change fine now let's move to the next question next question is p scored 40 marks more than q in the examination okay q scored 10% less than p see everyone they have i mean there's a difference of 40 and question is saying Q score ten percent less than P, so ten percent of P is equal to forty. So one percent of P is equal to four. Then hundred percent of P is equal to four hundred, right? So P scored four hundred, and Q scored forty marks less than P, right? So Q scored what? Q scored three sixty. right question is how much did q score so q score 360 marks right everyone so now i think the topics i mean the questions are over so this was an important topic friends there are several question came from this topic in last uh, 10 years or 11 years right so please prepare this topic well for your csat exam right and now it is the time to discuss some offerings guys now it is the time to discuss about our offerings what unjust offers you guys so we have some programs related to csat only right and let me discuss those programs in detail so first program is csat foundation program this is actually csat foundation program this is a long term program for csat right so those who are targeting like after 2 years or after 1 year so they can join this program right and then csat pyq program csat pyq program is a very targeted program that we have designed here we have collected all the questions that came in csat from 2011 to 2021 and we have segregated those questions topic wise and concept wise right so we are discussing all those questions and obviously we are discussing the concepts that are coming through those questions in the csat examination fine so we have discussed all the concepts through questions so actually we are teaching in this program through pyqs only right so here you are getting like which type of questions are coming from the, from the certain topic and moreover here we have discussed some other dimensions of those questions also i mean which type of questions may further asked i mean may be asked further related to this topic or a, or a particular topic 
Fine. So this is CSAT PYQ program, and then CSAT crash course. Those two, I mean, those students who don't have much time, or those who have less time, they can join this program. I mean, we have crash course for two months, for fifty days, or for uh, uh, one month also, right? So you can join according to your availability and your convenience. Fine. And then CSAT weekend batch. This batch we have designed for uh, working professional candidates, those who don't have time in weekdays. They may join this program, right? It is a very beneficial program for those candidates, those who are, I mean, those who don't have time in weekdays, basically. Fine. And then CSAT test series along with the discussion. See everyone, this is again a very good and targeted program that we have designed. Here, we have, I mean, we have designed the questions which are strictly based on the recent pattern of CSAT. Fine. Because here, obviously, if you compare the paper of last two years from other papers, then you will see the drastic change, right? So obviously we have designed the questions based on that only. Okay. So this is a very good program and obviously the discussion is also very important. Fine. How to tackle the paper, how to eliminate the options. This is actually very important. How to read the question properly. Right. So this discussion is also very important. And after that, we have a free program in our telegram five star question series in telegram. See everyone, what is this five star telegram? I mean, five star question series in telegram here. We upload five questions every day in our telegram channel. Okay. And we discuss those questions sometimes in telegram and sometimes in our website. Fine. Here you may take those five questions every day to get the momentum. I mean, till the examination, you may just get connected uh, with the questions for CSAT. You just take five questions every day and uh, I mean, maintain your momentum till the examination. So this is a very, I mean, very beneficial program for the students. So guys, please get benefited out of it, right? Join this program. And let me introduce about our uh, contact details. So friends, we have a telegram channel. The link for the same is telegram slash ungest, right? So this is our telegram channel. And our website is ungest.com, right? And if you guys want to talk to us, then we have a very simple number 9613192021, right? Again, Nine six one three nineteen twenty twenty one. It's a very simple and convenient number, right? Easy to learn, in fact. And let me tell you something about our classes. So we have offline classes. Offline classes we have in ORN, Old Rajinder Nagar, New Delhi, right? So if you want to join our offline classes, you may contact us, and you may come to offline classes which are in ORN, right? And we also have online classes. So online classes, I mean, uh, you just get the link and you may start your lectures, right? Uh, just by contacting us, fine. So friends, so uh, these are the details that I wanted to discuss with you guys, right? And please uh, stay tuned for very good content. We guys are working for you day in, day out, right? And please share these videos with your friends also so that they may also get benefited out of it, right? So thank you everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you. Thank you so much.